YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. It is extremely windy today. The news said that we're going to get about 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts of wind with uh, about 30 mile sustained gust at times. And they were not kidding. The wind, as you can see, the trees blowing like crazy. Blowing me all around. And I am far from town. Uh, not town, but my home. So I gotta head home because this wind is getting worse. Roadkill! Oh, that was a tire. certain days, especially rainy days, it acts up on me and I can barely walk. I was in a car accident, somebody rear-ended me and uh, messed me up pretty bad. Dislocated my right hip, messed up my knee. I had to learn how to walk again. Six months of rehabilitation, rehab, rehabilitation, rehab. I don't know how to say it, you try to say it. And uh, they said I will never walk without a cane I, for support. They gave me a cane and I got home and I just broke it through the way I'm not using a stupid cane. That was years ago. I was about 26 at the time. Well, now I think I need that cane sometimes because sometimes I can't walk. My hip knee hurts so bad that I need that support. I haven't used it yet. My son bought it for me. I haven't used it yet, but. I just lean on him. He's my son. That's what he's there for. Take care of his father. And uh, so I was thinking about that. And then that uh, older gentleman, I, I don't, he didn't have any videos or anything. Uh, but he told me that I was a baby. I'm only 51. Wait till I get to 70 before I start thinking about that. He said that uh, even though he's 70 years old, he's not going to give up riding until the day he kicks the bucket. So. I was pretty amped 
up after I read his comment. And uh, if I can find his name, I'll, I'll look back in the comments to see if I can find his name. Put that down in the description box, if I can find it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've always wondered that. I mean, I've been riding for a long, long time. And I get bored very easily. Even though I get bored very easily, I've never gotten bored of riding motorcycles. I've gotten bored of riding certain types of motorcycles. And I've always, well, on the road, I've always switched to something different. And uh, I was watching the Arizona Desert Dogs, and he does a lot of off-roading. And I told my wife, man, I would really love to give me a dual sport, man, because I miss, I miss riding off-road. I and mean, that's where I started. I started riding dirt bikes. I've ridden dirt bikes longer than I've ridden street bikes. You know, basically the similar riding, you know, two wheels, handlebars. You know, but it is a different riding style completely. But I don't know, even at my age, the way that I used to ride motocross, the way I used to hit the jumps and the berms and, uh, and the wheelies and stuff, I don't know if at my age now if I can still ride like I used to. Because even now when I ride street, I don't even ride my, my cafe racer like I used to ride 28, 20 years ago when I had my Harley or something like that. I used to be a real aggressive rider. I'm more laid back now, more calm. I think that comes with age. But uh, I don't know. I see a lot of senior citizens out there still driving in cars. I don't know what they're out there doing driving around in these cages. Barely can see over the freaking handlebars. There goes a popo right there. I should follow him. But uh, yeah, I was just wondering if anybody else has thought about that that's in my age range. You know, Sam Smith, you know, you're a much older gentleman and he's still riding. But uh, like even Sam S Smith said, he's a more calm down rider. He's not aggressive like he used to be in his youth. And uh, I think that just all comes to age. Look at the popo hiding, pulling over there and hiding. This is the road I like. I love the speed down, 45. But I see him hiding right there now, Popo. That's a lot. That's about seventh Popo I've seen out today. I don't know if he's setting up a speed trap or he's going back and checking the desert there. Oh, he's going back, checking to see if anybody's there off roading probably. Watch out, TRX 450R blogger. They're looking for you. But uh. Yeah, I was just wondering that. I got too much time on my hands to do a lot of thinking. Do even more thinking when I'm around riding. But uh, yeah, man, this wind is crazy wind. I rode all the way out to this little town called Aver Valley. I was going to go eat lunch out there. And, and I had my bike shut off. When I went to start it, it wouldn't start. It took me 20 minutes to get my bike to start. I have no idea why. So I was like, man, once I got it started, screw that, I'm headed home, man. I'm not going to be stuck out here in the boonies. Too far to walk for an old guy like me. That's a good, I don't know, 30, 25, 30 minute ride. Probably three hour walk, especially pushing my bike. But uh, if any of you uh, older subscribers that I have out there, let me know what you think about this uh topic uh when is it time to hang up the keys to the bike and say all right now it's time to stop riding is there an age or is it a feeling or or i don't know i mean me myself i always say to myself i ain't never gonna stop riding but also said that about getting remarried after my divorce i got married again so you never know man Things change, people change, weather changes. I mean, I might get another bike. I might. I say that about every bike I get. I've had, I don't know how many of them. I don't have enough fingers and toes to count how many bikes that I've owned in the past. But, uh, yeah, so if you like this video, whoa, hit that like button. time to leave a comment I will take the time to respond to your comments your personal messages uh, share this video on your Facebook or share with your friends that you think they might enjoy my channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already don't cost nothing it's for free and 
like always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, comment on my videos, and like my videos. I appreciate each and every single one of you out there. And like always, get out, go, get out, you. Get out.